Hundreds of people ran through the streets of Jackson with Governor Phil Bryant, supporting the first 5K race that bears his name, while raising money for the state's only children's hospital. Here we are at this beautiful Mississippi Day running for help, running for Blair E. Batson. And thanks to you this morning, we're making a donation of $10,000 to Blair E. Batson Children's Hospital. The governor and his wife, Deborah, aren't strangers to Bats and Children's Hospital. In April, they visited patients and their families and met with physicians. The Children's Hospital is everything. We, are, we, just, you know, we really need to support those kids. They're going through a lot. Their families are going through a lot. Anything we can do to support them, we're all behind it. So we hope every year this race gets bigger and bigger, and we are able to get more and more support. Events like this are really nice to bring uh, attention to the Children's Hospital, um, but more importantly to let the community know that we need this support. We need their, uh, the resources of the whole state uh, to really do a lot of the things that we want to do and to continue to grow and develop, add positions uh, and bring people in from other parts of the country that can uh, be, be, provide more services to these ch children. United in their support of Batson, runners and walkers had another common cause, surviving a very hot and muggy June day. Uh, the reason that we pulled through in a tough time, a lot of these people, was for Larry Batson. Thinking about what those children go through, if they can suffer one day for that, we might be able to suffer years to help them. Or at least get off our tails and run to help them. And your son's a Batson patient? Oh, he's been a patient? Yes, sir. He's been there multiple times. He was born with a very rare birth defect called OEIS complex. And uh, with Batson being the only children's hospital around, that's, that's exactly where we want him to take him. What's it mean to be running in this race today? Oh, it's awesome. Uh, you know, when we're there, they treat us so well. And, and it's, it's nice just to come out and participate in something that benefits the hospital. Uh, you know, and they're usually doing things to benefit my family. So it's really nice to get back. So uh, are you a runner? Well, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. My buddy, my buddies are, so it's uh, good to help kids uh, overcome their obstacles in life and get better and get well. We had a great team from the, you know, Division of Medicaid, had 35 people participating, you know, so uh, it's great. I'm, I'm thrilled, you know, we raffled off a ticket to see who's going to get a free parking spot for three months, so hey, you know. Well, that's worth something. It's worth something. But all in all, a great day. We did well. We just was happy for the turnout. Just happy for the turnout. A bunch of guys getting together for a little exercise. We want you to see us other than pulling you over, writing you a ticket. <laughs> see us in another manner. We out here running with the public and having a good time. You, you did very well today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, you're, I guess you run a lot. Uh, not too much. I've been running probably about for two weeks. I come off the pinched nerve, so had an injury. But it's hot out here, so. So you've been down for a while. I've been down for a while. Just started that. We're working with kids and helping out Blairy Batson Hospital, and at the same time working on getting Mississippi healthy and get us off the bottom of that obesity chart and back up to what we need to be. Governor Bright and I, we're hoping to do a lot of things together to partner and uh, really change the, the face of Mississippi here and see if we can make, make an impact on the obesity ratings here in our state. As the fun run came to an end, the First Lady and Governor were there, rooting for and running with children as they approached the finish line. To learn more about Bats and Children's Hospital, go to childrenshospital.umc.edu. I'm Jim Albritton reporting.